And in three, two, one, fire. Okay, so this property was previously inspected, has a pretty bad gopher infestation. We're estimating probably 10 to 12 gophers that are on site. Let me give you a walkthrough of what we have going on. By the way, this is Isaiah. You probably Isaiah, familiar face you. right here from the other videos. These are what I call tailings from their tunneling activity. When the gophers tunnel, they need to push the dirt up somewhere, so this is the result of that. I like to equate it to like a mining machine. They'll wash the rocks and push the excess to the back. This is basically the excess dirt from their tunneling activity. One of the things that a lot of people don't realize is the amount of extensive damage that these gophers can create and this is a perfect example this is what's called a leech field and these gophers have gotten inside of the leech field and starting to burrow inside of it as a result you're getting a lot of erosion right here which can be obviously detrimental to the property another thing here that uh can be problematic is them burrowing around these power lines, communication lines, any sort of low voltage that's not buried real deep can also be an issue. Today our goal is going to be to get this property buttoned up, get as many of these critters out of here, and then from this point forward we'll need to maintain the property using our services. So this is gonna be our main trap that we use. There's also sort of a cinch traps, paddle traps, but these are gonna be our main line of defense against the invasion. today is going to be put as many of these down on this property to try to get as many out in the first couple services. We'll end up pulling probably 10 or 12 gophers out of this property. This is a DJI Mavic Pro. It's one of the tools that we use out in the field to uh, save a lot of man hours when we're assessing larger properties. You could put a drone up instead of having to walk it to assess the amount of infestation. We, got, we can put this to work, use it to our advantage. Um, one of the many tools that we use in this company to work smarter, not harder. Gophers are being active year round. Even now, with temperatures in the low 30s, something like that, they're very active and they remain eating all the roots and creating all this damage. You never know it's 30 degrees because I'm kind of a knucklehead and I don't wear a jacket. But it is 30 degrees, trust me. One of the dangers of this is running into these power lines. Obviously, running into a power line is the last thing you want to do. So you have to make every precaution available. Like this right here, this is a low voltage coaxial cable. When you're working next to these 
power lines, you have, have to be especially careful. Nobody wants to become a fried gopher guy. <laughs> One of the many things that separates gopher guys from other pest control companies is we specialize in gopher control. So that means we have a lot of proprietary and very specific equipment that's involved in the company. Here is what is most commonly known as the gopher's main run. So basically what they do is they have their main run and they'll have these little offshoots, which is where they push all of their mounting onto. So in here we have a main run that's going towards me and away as well. You know, these gophers will run through these main runs. You can kind of think of it as like a gopher highway. Those gophers are constantly running up and down, trying to expand their tunnels, look for food and things like that. Okay, so we are all finished up at this property. Uh, we set a bunch of traps on the gopher mounds. You know, the flags will mark where all those traps are. So if the resident needs, they'll be able to find all the traps. Um, we'll be back tomorrow morning to come check these. We'll see what we catch. And if need be, we can also reset some more traps and we'll get all these guys out of here.